I recently wrote a blog post about shifting your confidence identity. And in this video, I want to share with you a personal story about how I've done exactly that and how you can too. I'm Abigail Kay and I'm a confidence crusader on a mission to help everyday women just like me discover their most confident self. I certainly don't have all the answers, but I want to invite you to join me on this journey to discover together how to live life as a confident woman. Many of the things I've learned on my journey as a confidence crusader have come through my own personal experience. And later on, through my constant reading and listening to personal development content, I discover that the lessons that I've learned and experienced is an actual thing that's been documented by authors and academics. And then I'm able to actually label that lesson. One such example is the importance of self-identity. In my blog post, I reference the teachings of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and the role that identity plays in determining whether a person can successfully change their habits and behaviors. Essentially, what they're saying is the reason that most people aren't successful in their New Year's resolutions or with quitting bad habits like smoking or overeating, or even with instilling new good habits like exercise and meditation, is because of the identity they've created for themselves. For example, if a room full of people were asked by a show of hands whether they were smokers or non-smokers, there would most likely be a 100% show of hands, smokers versus non-smokers. The audience would self-identify whether in fact they were a smoker or a non-smoker. They either do or they don't. There's no gray area and there's no confusion. The role that identity plays in changing someone's habits and behaviors is that once that person makes the decision to adopt a new identity, the one they'd ideally like to have, that's when they're more likely to succeed in changing their actions. If a smoker wants to quit smoking, they first have to decide that they want to adopt the label of non-smoker. Here's an example of choosing a new identity that I've personally experienced. My husband and I have been vegetarian for nearly 12 years. Early last year, we decided that we wanted to adopt a vegan diet because we feel bad about the treatment of the animals. So we began to cut dairy and eggs out of our diet. When I told friends and family about our decision, I told them that we were trying the vegan thing. At that time, we also had an upcoming trip to Paris, which I was so looking forward to. And in my mind, I had already given myself permission to have cheese and chocolate in Paris. Because, you know, when you're in Paris, you do it, damn it. Fast forward to June of this year, and the topic of veganism entered my consciousness again. And the pull to give it another go was as strong as ever. This time though, once we made the decision, instead of saying I'm trying to be vegan, I started saying I am vegan. I decided to give myself that identity. Even while we were still using up the eggs and cheese that were still in our fridge, the fact that I had begun to identify myself as vegan meant that the transition was much easier. My desire for cheese and eggs didn't just vanish and I did have a moment of mourning the fact that I'd never have cheese again, but with my new identity firmly adopted, and knowing the reason why I was choosing this vegan identity, I was able to overcome those old desires and fully integrate this new lifestyle choice. I began to be, do and feel the way that a vegan does. So whatever habit or behavior you currently have that you'd like to change, try these two things. First, 
decide on and commit to your new desired identity. And number two, affirm the reason why you desire this identity. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And remember that a caring sister is a sharing sister. So if you have a friend or a family member whose confidence could do with a boost, do her the favor and send her this video.